No, it was a very, very rough childhood because very nice questions, compliments. It's, you're <laughs> doing a good job. Why? Because I, I, in Portugal, I came from uh, from almost nothing. Like my parents, they ran away from their families because they want they fall in love and they want to be together. So mom, my family, my mom didn't support him. My father's side didn't support him. So they go together without nothing, just challenge the world, and they get together. So they find a house, small house, very humble and uh, nice jobs and they grow together. But uh, when six years old, my father divorced my mom, a bad divorce. They have uh, conflicts between them, they, they divorce not good in the moment and I was very young. I have an older brother with seven years old. But then he, uh, this same brother, when I was 16 years old, he died. So this was the moment more hard of my life. He had an accident, crash accident. He was, he was picking me in the training and they have a, a crash against a car. So it was the most difficult moment in my life. This was the most difficult. And well, it was really bad. And, and more difficult for me was hiding the suffering and see my mom as well. So we need to be the, each other's rock. So I couldn't leave the town where I was living, to play in better clubs, in better places even, because I didn't want to leave my mom alone. So during six years, I was around her, to supporting her was very difficult moments, but uh, I think all of this make the person I am now to challenge all the, to fight all the challenges I have. So we need to take everything I learn now, everything that we think that is sadness now is to make us stronger. And the persons that we lose, we never lose them because they never leave our hearts and your minds. They are always with us. And life is too short to lose time with sadness. So keep going. And I think this moment makes me stronger. Yeah. What do you uh, know how about was things when you were there? I, when I was there? Yeah. Well, it was already long if we want to talk about high school. Well, the high school was my childhood. was passing always with the ball, you know, football ball. It's like uh, we go into the school, we do all the things in the school, but when we have a time, we always carry our ball down the arm in the five, ten minutes during the, uh, the break from the one class to another one, just playing football all the time. Of course, the coaches, uh, they are so pleased. Then in the end of the day, we have the, the practice with the normal clubs, and they are so pleased with that. But our teachers in the school, they are, don't like it so much, because then we are all the time sweating and uh, not so concentrated on the school. But uh, I think I was this kind of uh, person that I could always balance the sports with, uh, with the football. So I, my grades were never the max. We know we have from zero to 20. And I was always a student for 12. Why? Because this is not a good example. <laughs> but I only studied one day before the exam because I have always trainings every day after school. So then I went after school at six, 6 or 7 o'clock, I have trainings, I come home 8, 9 o'clock, eat. I was so tired because next day 8 o'clock I have classes, so I never studied so much. But I was a student for 12, but I could study, be a football player, and then when I finished the high school, I could go to the university and I was a professional football player, so I could balance the both things. Not a good example, I tell you all of you, you need to study. When you want to play football or do another sport, you can do it, but never let the students in the side, because here is where everything is. Even for a football player, it's not your body, it's your mind, how you handle the things. Was the school hard for you? Well, this uh, school was hard. Well, it, it was a bit hard, uh, the question that some new classes, some uh, the, um, classes like math, like uh, physics, physics uh, or chemistry you, you need to study you know like a mathematic a math you need to go every day in school and study and read and make practices at home I was this kind of person that study one day before the school so 
it was a bit harder than that. I always pass with 9.5, 10, 9, <laughs> and 8, and then I take an 11 and they help me to go up. So uh, it was a bit hard this part. But I have a mom, a sent mom, and that she was working in the university, and uh, she always pushed me to study. So, well, it was hard in this point, but uh, I think I couldn't do it. If I th and now I know that if I was studying a bit more, at least take one or two days more after school, after trainings, to start to make a review what I study during the day, it will be much better. But uh, what made you come to Estonia? What made me? It's a challenge. When you start to growing, when I was your age or less than your age, uh, we always have a, a, a ending, you know, a goal. And I was making goals, 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 and you will see that life is amazing with the goals because it makes you work and fight for something that you know that is yours, is waiting for you. So, I, everybody should always fight for their dreams. And uh, I'm this kind of person that I was stuck it in the moment that I want something else. And then a Japanese that is play, was playing here like two months before, he invited me to Oshiwakuri, he plays with me. He said he comes here in Estonia, and I didn't know nothing about Estonia, but the challenge, because it's different. And then I came here and uh, it's diff different, the people is different than my country. It was like, for me, it was a fresh air. And uh, I get into the country, the country accepts me well, I respect the country, and I, get, I give a lot and I receive a lot, that I feel like home in Estonia. So Estonia for me is a home, and this is why I came here, and this is more important. But uh, when did you understand that football is the one for you? I, I am, as I tell you, I born with the in Portugal we breathe, we eat football. Everybody is so crazy for football. It's, it's unbelievable. If our club that we love uh, wins, uh, everybody forgot the sadness. If the, the club lose, everybody remember the sadness and they are all, all sad, more sad uh, than they were before. So the football is moving, is a passion there. Well, and I grew up in the street playing with my friends every day. We can wake up in the morning, we find ten persons, we play in the street with two stones in the middle of the street all day until my mom screams, George, come home, eat! You know? <laughs> and if you don't come home, you know? Okay, I go eat, after eat, she goes, oh, okay, rest a bit, yes, mom, yes, mom. I take my mom, turn the back on, and boom, it's me again, <laughs> playing football until 6, 7 o'clock there, all day, you know. So then I start playing one team, very, uh, the teams that are really professional, and I start to play, and when I was 16, 17 years old, I have opportunity to go to a big club, to train in a big club, was, uh, at that time was Benfica, and they opened me the doors to uh, other steps, and then I start to play in the professional team with 17 years old. I have already a professional contract and we get a lot of money. So what just happened, you know, is I'm pushing into. And when you have opportunity like this, you don't grab one hand, you put two hands. to grab this opportunity to be a football player. And I'm playing I'm a professional football player already for 14 years. So it's very, it's, it's something that I'm thankful to have this opportunity. And I could grab him with two hands and never leave the school. And me right now, and I still study to finish.